Physics Pod, the YouTube channel for physics. Please subscribe my channel. Hello everyone and welcome back to another episode of Physics Partner. Today I would like to introduce a very very basic terms which students are usually confused with and that is the current voltage and resistance. So what is current, what is voltage and what is resistance? So you can see on the video there is a small electric circuit I have uh, placed here as a simulation so you can see some electrons are moving, some charges are moving from battery towards the bulb and it's going back to the battery and this is how it works so let's understand one by one the three basic terms in this video i will not go in any detail i will just give you a concept of three basic terms the current the potential difference voltage and the resistance let's talk about the current first current is the rate of flow of charges what it means it means how many charges are passed in how much seconds is called current. So you can see on the screen current will be indicated as I and uh, its unit is amperes. It means the number of coulombs passes in how much seconds is considered as amperes. Let us talk about the second physical unit which is electromotive force or voltage. Do not confuse with the word force, the unit of this voltage is not Newton, it is not actually a force but it is a motive behind, but it is a factor which makes the electrons moving. So actually potential difference or electromotive force is a kind of, of a hidden energy which makes electrons move. It means when some electrons are moving, so how they are moving, for motion we know there is a element needed there is a force required to move them so the battery because of the chemical reaction it produces some force which allow electrons to move on and you can say the energy which makes the charges moving is actually coming from the battery which is the source of emf or voltage the unit of potential difference or emf is voltage we are writing in a volt that is the unit and you can see the formula on the screen itself. This is how you can find out the voltage. The finally is the resistance. What is resistance means? You can see here a bulb is acting as a resistance. So resistance is something which try to stop or slow down the movement of electrons. That is resistance. So resistance can try to oppose the flow of the charges. So we can say that the, the force which is against the flow of charges is called resistance. So if we add one more battery, so actually we are providing uh, more voltages or the same hidden energy which is trying to move the electrons. What happen if I add one more bulb in parallel to this? So what you can see now electrons are not only moving in one direction, they have another way to move on. So they are moving from one direction here and one direction here, but ultimately they are gathering in one place and passing on. So let me quickly revise with, so current is the rate of flow of charges, here is the formula, voltage is the hidden potential behind the flow of charges, there is a formula for that and resistance is something which opposes the flow of charges. So I hope you enjoyed the video, I hope you understand, I made this video just for giving you a clear concept about current voltage and resistance. Thank you very much for listening and we will meet you again with a new video of electricity. Meanwhile, take care of yourself. Goodbye and don't forget to subscribe my channel. Thank you very much.